Wow, guys, we got a Forrester ticket. Surely the Forrester ticket will give me the Elisa that I'm looking for, right? Oh, wait, Christmas Elisa's not. <laughs> that was a joke, it's all good. Yeah. What is the banner order, by the way? Let me double check it. Key. You had no Lolisa luck, Turkey? Or do you think I will not have Lolisa luck? Because the second one would mean that you expect me to pull. Which I do with one daily single pull, then I'm out of paid quartz. And I'm not topping up. I'm not topping up. No. As much as I would love to do the paid pulls, I'm not topping up. Nope, nope, nope. You had no luck, Satch, Satch. Okay, YouTube stream seems to be live. I should use the feature way more often. That's that's a great idea. <laughs> it's just so that I can, you know, not only share the link of my stream, but I can also, uh, you know, um, I can also just share it as a post on YouTube side. Hi, Shizuka. And of course, also, hi, only despair. Hi, welcome, Oshwa. Hi, Feely. Hi. Turkey, fire bars. Yes, I will save. My wallet is not ready to whale anymore, so my wallet is uh, locked out from even topping up. <laughs> I refuse, okay? I refuse to top up with my own money. I mean, if people want to donate for me, you know, to, 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 to pull, I, I would be down, but... In no way of near or whatever, I will be topping up on myself. Dude, in, in two days, <laughs> in, in two days, I need to top up already so much. Too poor for pulling Lolisa or Eris Assist. I will pull for Eris Assist, but I'm too poor to pull for Lolisa, that's correct. Um, before we start, let me quickly share the post that I'm live uh, on the different kind of platforms because I still don't have a cool way or a tool to manually post everywhere. At least the multiple discords. And my discord things, official discord, I need to post, unofficial discord, I need to post. And last but not least, I need to go beautiful page name, Twitter or X, which is always really risky because there are a few not so user friendly sharing pay sites out there, you know. Um, where you're probably better off <laughs> not clicking on. <laughs> um, oh no, super. Yeah, just go to my profile, copy paste the text. I think that's easier to do. This should be other places. He's got so many colors. You got quest for all. Yeah, exactly, dude. No, no joke. I said it before, and I'm still kind of behind it. Um, I kind of expect Sassy Soft to continue skipping collabs until we are on time with the with like the normal banners, right? Because that would allow a really interesting trade. And that is, the normal game has a one year delay. That way, all the limited banners line up properly. But to make up for that, 
collapse are now on a two year delay. That means, yes, we get all the collapse way later than we should be, which means we have a different meta, which can be kind of interesting. Um, collapse are mostly just for collection and not for uh, power, so they are less valuable for arena. Still, some collapse are great for arena, but like not that important. And that way we have time banners, we have regular collapse, we will get everything eventually, but it just allows us to you know have seasonal events because that was like one of the biggest things that i saw people complain that seasonals don't matter up match up i doubt will um forbidden wiz should coming after after this banner ends so i think it was february 6th i think it's february 6th was it i said it in my uh, lisa banner guide um the exact date but i think it's around lisa um february 6th when we actually get forbidden wiz plus new year union we got Christmas, uh, Xmas Lisa at home, Erika. Yeah, Erika's budget, Lisa. Didn't know Ares was an assist. Don't have to take it with her. Oh, you didn't save that Satch. So Christmas must be the time, time zone. 100%. Yeah, that's 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 the thing. And a lot of people are really sad about the missed timestamp. So I think that would, that would allow for it to catch up without delaying everything else, which is a somewhat decent idea i would say no if, if they do cops one after another then the game will just implode i, I don't think they will risk that <clears throat> okay but yeah let's just start off with the single pool here close close to the forest of lisa guys right that was pretty close and hey we still have this banner so um I'm not, I'm not sure how much I should include in the YouTube video. That's that's what I'm currently debating on. Like, I want to make a quick video about the Ares banner, why she's good, showing her off. But I probably need to, you know, sew things together, so... Okay, okay. I have an idea. So, plan is... We're starting off with the Ares assist banner where I'm just throwing my pulls out while I'm trying to explain stuff and hopefully get my four Ares that I need plus the one from the exchange shop. Um, if not, I should still probably be fine, but you know, seeing what I can do here. Um, after that, I'm going to scroll over six times to do this single pull. And then I'm going to make a cut in the video and then we're going to the battle screen where I can then show off what exactly she does. I think that's a good plan, right? And to give me the option to fully explain why she's so good, when you should use her, when you should potentially not use her, and just showing off why she's that great. I think that's a good plan. <clears throat> okay, let me take a quick sip so I'm not... Hi, just cat. Uh, I want to make a video about Ares Assist showing her off, doing the pulls, and explaining um, why she's such an OP assist that you will pretty much most of the time use her, aka 90% of the times, and why Chimotsuka is not that, pretty much. Stay moist, I mean hydrated. We are at mouse times, so which is a month behind. Damn it, you, you found out, guys. Yeah, let's... let's. Uh, I think audio level is fine. I think audio level should be fine. You should hear me clear and the game a little bit. So yeah, it's just... Start with the recording, guys, right? Yeah, to be honest, after Ares Assist, there's no other assist that you need to pull, so using auto tickets here is totally fine. The newest assist in Konosuba Fantastic Days finally dropped, and it's none other than Ares. 
and I'm going to explain to you all the infos that you need, like what she's doing, why she's so good that people hype her up so much, when you should use her, when you should potentially not use her, and just what the hell is going on here. I'm Katsuma Gaming, let's get right into this. So in the background, I'm just going to pull myself for the Ares. Uh, quick info here at the beginning. This will be the last pullable assist for a long, long time. Checkpoint dude first pull, easy clap. Um, so don't feel bad about just wasting your tickets. Also keep in mind there is an exchange shop that I'm potentially going to use to get this dupe there because for I think it's 600 coins you can just exchange your worst case if you get unlucky. Then of course for each thousand coins afterwards you can just exchange dupes. So normally you should be good to go to just maxing her out if you save for a while. If not, just wait there will be enough assist tickets coming in the future where you can, you know, pull later to be honest. Getting her dupes is kind of essential because it actually just makes her even better. There we go. Um, but even without any dupes, just having her once will be great to have. Again, I will explain all the details here once she is fully maxed. And that's my third one. Nice. We are getting pretty close. And again, I have already enough coins that I can just worst case exchange here, but since it's more fun to pull, you know, um, I'm just going to continue pulling and only worst case going for the... Dude, dude, okay, jackpot. <laughs> what a multi, dude, what a multi, what the hell? Yeah, I still have 20 tickets left, so there we go, that's great. Um, one last thing I actually don't want to do before we actually continue to showing off her in game and answering all the important questions. Just going to do the YOLO ticket here. This is a cool banner. We get one limited 4 star for free. It's a single pull. It's a guaranteed 4 star. It's a guaranteed limited unit, I think. I'm not 100% sure limited part, but you know. Oh. Okay. Summon Elisa. I mean, it's Elisa shards. So I'm not going to complain here, but... Um... <laughs> there would be other ones that I need, that I missed, that would be greater. But yeah, let's check out what she actually does. And then we can go um, into battle and show her off there. So, Eris assist boosts the cooldown gauge of all allies. And that's a really interesting thing that probably not a lot of people understand. And also small it bit here. This scales with levels, that's why I said the level kind of matters, but not too big. I think like between level 1 and level 5, it's like a 2 second difference, something like that. Like, it matters, sure, but it's not like, oh, if you don't have the level 5, it's GG, it's over. But, um, yeah, to fully explain it, I think it's better to just go to battle. Second thing that I want to mention here, you can use her two times, which is really valuable. And she has a trait that just gives you HP per action. But to be honest, we never use her for that. That's that's not good. We want damage in arena, right? The main thing about arena, aka the main end game of the uh, end game content of the game, is doing as much damage as possible. And she exactly does that. But not by doing damage itself, but by allowing your team to do more damage. For that, let me just jumply go in here, replace the now outdated Chamoske, and putting her in. So we can just jump into battle real quick. The thing that Eris is doing, to explain it in a more easier way, is she gives you action gauge, aka the thing that allows you to turn. For example, right now when we start, you can see, for example, at the right, you can see R right there, she's half ready towards the action. Let's just use Eris here, undo auto, pause, and you will see. She kind of got a full turn extra, so instead of waiting now like two, three seconds to get the first turn, you already can use your first action straight away. That's pretty much the first action before even one second tick down. She has a cool of 30 seconds, so you should use your first action before the 30 second mark. Afterwards, it's kind of pointless. We're just gone. But um, that's pretty much what she does. She gives you action gauge, which allows you to end faster. Now you're probably thinking, why is that so good? We have Chimoski that can extend buffs, isn't that better? And here are the Nikki and the small tips and tricks you can do with her. First step, wave clear. 
just by having the turret instantly ready, you can guarantee, for example, like if you have AoEs, you can just clear the wave in pretty much zero seconds and get to the final wave ASAP, which of course means you can start dashing out damage faster towards the boss. It also allows you to just make the wave gear more consistent because you don't need to worry about, oh, do I get hit, do I not get hit, um, stuff like that just makes stuff easier with that also, you know the thing about Chimosuke why Chimosuke is that great is it allows you to extend buffs and to be honest most of the time this feature only matters for a tiny bit and with that I mean you mostly just use it to extend the buff for like 2-3 seconds until you get the next ulti ready that just extends the buff for example and it matters but it's not like oh, it's that great since you can only use Shimosuk once so you can only extend one buff and Shimosuk is best when you can use her I think it's a her so that you can for example wait for two turns use your buffs then use your buffs right away as say ASAP before they run out then you use Shimosuk then you can wait for like two turns again use the ulti again use the ulti ASAP again and that way you have pretty much a buff for the whole run that's the whole idea behind Shimosuk and Eris kind of allows you to do the same thing because normally if you don't have your ulti ready you extend the buff with Shimosuk with Ares, you just get an extra turn. The extra turn, depending on how much gauge you have in your units, will give you more gauge. And with that allows you to just ult earlier, get the ulti out more early, and with that kinda extend the buffs. The great thing, of course, also with Ares is, this, is that she's, with that, not really limited. So for example, Chimosuke can't extend Forbidden buffs. So Forbidden Aqua's buff cannot be longer than the fixed interval that it has. Same with future Forbidden units like Forbidden Wiz. And with that, Chimosuke's value just drops down because you can't extend these buffs. So Chimosuke does nothing there. Meanwhile, Eris gives you an extra turn. So for example, Forbidden Wiz, coming soon, will give you bonus damage per hit. Now imagine you can Use Ares Assist while the buff from Wiz is up. With that, get worst case, just worst case, get three basics in. That's three times basic damage, that's three times the bonus damage from Wiz's ulti, that's three times bonus gauge per unit to allow you to get both your Wiz ultis and your other ultis back up earlier. And that you can just use the ulti more frequently, more earlier. With that, just increase your whole damage. And I think that should kind of explain why. Ares is such a broken assist. The fact that you just get a free turn, aka free damage, aka free gauge up that has no limitations and can actually be used twice to make wave clear easier and consistent and to allow you to time it properly so you can either use it to dish up more damage in key situations, aka when you have special buffs up or when the enemy is especially weak. Um, or just to have an easier time looping buffs more perfect. So for example, right now in the current JP arena, I'm exactly using that strategy. I'm going to use Emilia's ulti at the second turn. Then I use it instantly. I then use Ares assist to get the bonus turn in that allows me to loop my ulti again properly. And that way I will only miss out on one non buffed Emilia ulti instead of you know, just having it never line up. And that's pretty much just the same thing as Shimosuke in that case, with the bonus that I can actually clear the wave consistently at zero seconds, get to the boss easier, quicker, consistent, and just do more damage like that. With that, we come to the question, when should you use Eris and when should you not use Eris? And the quick and simple answer is you should use Eris pretty much all the time. There's like only a few rare cases where you actually want to use the different assist. So for example, um, of course, in the Cabbage Hunt, an AOE wave clear assist like um, the Beginner of Spain, I think is the name, uh, it's really, really good. If you really need to heal and you don't have a healer of your team, which is not recommended, but if you want to do that, maybe you actually want to use Luna here. Um, the only big rival to Ares kinda is actually Sena. That's only if you actually use the Megumin Ulti 2 version 2 strat aka her tier 3 reshred so you can get away with not running a reshred unit and of course in that case you 
most of the time want to use Sina. Even then, there are people who just use Aries Assist anyway to, you know, use her while the debuff is up to get a bonus round of skills in, potentially get a bonus ulti in by having the bonus gauge up with that while the buff is still active and just kind of played out that way. And you still get the bonus damage of having the actual second turn of Aries either earlier or later for easy wave clear or just dish out the amount of damage that you want. One bonus that I actually forgot to mention is the fact that you are free to use her whenever you want. And another good example that I just have uh, of the JP side is when we used um, in the last arena. So we used her at the beginning of the battle for the wave clear, right? To get to the boss faster and then we just kept her until the two second mark because at the two second mark there was a good chance that the mob actually kills darkness off and we actually also used the Megumin Reshred strategy here. So um, Megumin used the Raygun to apply Reshred. We did as much damage as possible um, while Darkness came in and this is the buff for the team. And in the end, with like two seconds left, of course, there's no Reshred on the boss anymore, but we have our ultis ready. We get Darkness to faint. We then use Ares Assist at the last two seconds to get Leah in, make Leah apply a Reshred, and then we get both with ulti plus skills and plus the veneer ulti and the skill and just with that deal like half a million damage in two freaking seconds it's it's kind of crazy how much freedom we have with this assist and that's why i think she's that great um to be honest besides that i don't really think any other assist is worth it anymore maybe for some threats actually using ruffian of pretty dodo to just have an easier wave clear uh, I don't think the speed boost assist in that case is worth it as well then, since you can just... Like, this is good to allow you to get away faster, but since Ares can do the same and has a second charge, you just use Ares for the exact same benefits, and then you probably have your ultis ready on the boss anyway, and can get the speed boost in like 5 seconds into the run with your ulti. Uh, I know I'm repeating myself here, but I just want to make sure you guys understand how broken this assist really is so do me a favor go out there do your pulse there pray that you get her and again hopefully hopefully to the max level again if you don't have that many tickets just use what you have there's no reason anymore to hoard them and absolute worst case is you just go to the exchange shop go down here to the assist coin shop and in here, if we scroll down a little bit, this is still not sorted, I don't know why, but at the end of the list, you should see that you can exchange areas here for 600 coins. And of course, for every 1000 coins, you can just get one of these crystals, which you can then use to upgrade your assist for one level up. So in my case, I could just use my 3000 coins to get 3 level ups for areas. So I would only have needed to pull 2, and if I got a 600 bonus coins extra, I could also just, you know, get the areas down here which also can count either as your first Ares or just as another dupe, the cheaper one, to get her faster to level 5. But yeah, um, these are all infos I have for now to share with her. If you want to see her more in action, just keep an eye out for future Arena Gods videos. Or of course, uh, just watch me live play the game on twitch.tv slash katsumagaming or youtube.com slash at katsumagaming. I stream there a lot regularly, mostly Mondays and Wednesdays. Speaking of, this Wednesday will the eminence of shadow coloration drop on the JP version of the game and I will be summoning on that, so check it out. I would appreciate if you come there and watch it, me suffer or get lucky, whatever it is. Um, good luck with your polls and see you all in the next one. Bye! Okay, that was, that was a lot of text, sorry. Now I can answer questions again. You got Summer's Yellow and you got Summer Rin. Oof, Christmas Union. I mean, Union dupes are never bad. Best Dark Team with Louisa. Um, Costa, the best Dark Team so far that we found out is um, Louisa plus um, Melissa with her ulti 2 version 2, so OG Melissa actually. And last but not least, the last unit that we used is Kazuma, Overlord Kazuma, I think it was with the self-speed boost and the CDR skill. Not sure if there's anything better, but that's the first team that we kind of made up in our heads.
Here's something exchange last time you checked. Was it fixed? It? Yep, it was fixed. It was actually fixed. Yes, Europe is like the ticket stuck at a single heiress. That's really oof. Do not with every be a goat holding our two. Skiru potion ga hoshikereba. Do you just like Luna for the character or do you really think the heal is that OP that you think she's you go? It's reindeer time, guys. We fight Rudolph. Wait. It's literally named Rudolph. What? I just saw the red nose and was like, oh guys, we fight Rudolph, but apparently it's really Rudolph. There is increased <laughs> increase gauge because we pet gauge. <laughs> that actually makes so much sense, Boris. That actually makes makes so much sense. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Again, guys, if you know don't use this feature, down here at the bottom, before you press battle, just click this button here we'll show you how much stamina will consume now i can press start battle and just chill and let it do the work for myself ピッツ入魂。友達とやたいめぐりがしたいな。いや。半分か。はい、あげる。このそば。我が名はあるえ。いける。てる。てる。みんな元が窮屈かも。甘く見ないで。いや。闇に隠れて今日も友達とやたいめぐりがしたいな。いや。エリスの胸はパトリー。You used up all your 230 assists tickets, now you got area assist maxed out. Nice, Yannick. I should probably use the dupes to max out my Cena, not gonna lie. That would actually be a pretty good idea. Um, I just didn't think about that so far. Well, I already have like one orb, I think. I think I already have one orb, so I can just get two others and with that, max her out at three others. Might be a good idea. Hold up the global get auto quest already? Yes! Uchi, Holo Naruto actually makes both global and GP videos. So, uh, yeah. Oh, you quit. You quit. Global. I guess then. Huh. <laughs> Three kick lines left. Good thing to know, Yannick, that you will never use them again. So this will never be a new year assist, at least for now. So, um. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Naruto, how many pulls do you have on cheap keys with three different accounts? How many pulls can you actually do? And do you just do them on part one, or do you like one account part one, one account part two, and one account part three? Because three bundles will F you up really hard, I would assume. 
good old OG, uh, OG Xmas Wiz for a limited 4 star. Hey, that's not bad pickup, to be honest. What is the new auto playing thing? You just press the checkbox and will automatically battle the stage, go to the next stage, battle the stage, go to the next stage, until you beat all the stages. This works for both normal, like for normal chapters, uh, ex hard and expert chapters, both in story and event. So right now I'm just not touching anything and not doing anything, and it will just auto play for me so I can fully focus on chat and don't need to worry about playing the game. The offer will be used for the parts to so actually split it up. Okay. I was not sure if, if you would just go for like Megumi or if you actually go like, yeah, I want to try my luck because you have, the, you have kind of the same problem as me with part one Megumi and part two Union, I think. While I have like part two Union and part three Kazuma that I want to pull on. <laughs> I mean, I can max the next one almost instantly then. Yeah, if there would be a next one, you could max them out. True, Yanni, true. Dude, that's a really sad part. I have so many coins and assist tickets and JP, and I just can't use them. You know what the worst part is? There is still the bundle in JP that gives you a thousand quarts and like five or ten assist tickets. Who the hell buys that? Who would want to buy that? No one needs to assist tickets. <laughs> Remake this bundle into giving me fame potions or quarts or whatever, I don't know. And I would happily buy it each week five times. I would happily do that. But no, it's just freaking assist tickets that no one needs. It would have been amazing to still playing. Well, you can just come back at Boris and play again, why not? It's crazy for people to play both GP and low version at the same game anyway. You call me crazy, Pochi? You call me crazy? Reds will buy them super mess will max out everything on day one. Hey, hey. You say whales will buy them. I don't buy them. Does this mean I'm not a whale? Does this mean I'm not a whale in GP? Damn, I'm not, I'm not a whale, I guess. Cool. By the way, I, I still have no idea what the hell I'm going to run in the arena. I mean, I guess I need to run Erika and Melissa and Kaz. Kaz, uh... Yes, yeah, so it's a yes, but today it's a yep. There you go, Turkey. You get Forbidden West, no problem. See you just move Satch part. I don't have dark dust. He's the only dust that I'm missing. Hey, what is crazy? It's new for ship here, guys. It's pretty level like guys. <laughs> to be honest, Naruto, I still don't know how you do it. Like, Sure, I have auto gacha games that eat a lot of time, but you also have a lot of auto gacha games that you play. I'm not sure how many you actually still play of them. Like, I know that my Hero Academia game you played, Nikkei, you probably still playing, Dunkaroo you still playing, but like, what was the other one? Um, you actually did a lot of videos for different gacha games. Um, <laughs> so I'm really surprised how you keep up with all of them. 
I have trouble playing every of my gacha games already on a daily basis and I'm still debating on if I want to drop any game in the PS which one and stuff like that it's, it's, it's also just like the sad part that all the cool things always happen at the same time it feels like like for example i was just about sure i can now stop with the slime isekai game because i got the million that i wanted bam overlord collaboration jp is pretty chill right now bam I and mean, it's in the shadow collaboration global is pretty chill damn it i need to make youtube videos oh that game is kind of chill to be honest at the moment since um it's pretty new and there is like not in theory there's not that much to do and i'm mostly limited by my resources because i don't have that much stamina in the game but i still need to build so many characters because i actually realized overlord game is so close to genshin and star rail it's ridiculous because if i understand it correctly you have rng and your artifact worlds I think there's a chance to actually have our RNG in the artifact girls. At least when you push the artifacts at the bottom, letters will appear with like an A, B, S, something like that. Which probably means how high the roll was in the different step, I would assume, potentially. I was so far too late to translate, but like. No! No! <laughs> Don't do that to me! I'm imagining you guys have like 32 phones in front of you and play all at the same time. I wish I had multiple phones, but it's I, I really only have one phone, which is so so bad for me. I mean I'm currently debating on if I wanna buy a second phone, but I just don't have the money at the moment for it. Like I, I'm waiting for my tax declaration to give me like some money back. But with that, I would just be not in the reds anymore, potentially, depending on how much I get back. So that just means that's not even like, okay, I get the bonus money to buy a phone. And then apparently my company is doing so bad this year, or like last year, that I don't even get my bonus. So, don't have a bonus. My tax money is now... I wait for like two months now to get that, which sucks, because each month I don't get the money, it's just more money that I pay to the bank which sucks and yeah <laughs> and i don't know i should be able to buy a second phone like that and always emulate on pc yeah i, I could emulate on pc but um, it's it's annoying it's annoying kind of like I have Dankfur on a PC, so I can play it on the same time, right? I could just open up Dankfur right now, play it. But I also have on PC Genshin and Star Rail, which I try to do simultaneously, and I can't do free gacha games. Sure, when I'm done with them, I could then be like, sure, it's put one of my mobile games to PC, but could it's too much AP, I can't transfer it because I would always need to delete the app and reinstall it, which is pain in the butt. I could transfer global and play global on the PC. Um, but to be honest, I can't, for one specific reason, and that is, I didn't calculate properly back then when I set up my PC, which means my C drive, my C drive is only like 250 gigabytes, and out of the 250 gigabytes, I only have like 5 gigabytes left on my C star. I mean, I think I have blue stacks installed with like the global version or the GP version, not sure. But like, I, I can't really install any stuff on the emulator because the emulator will always take away room from C. And my C is the one that's full, which annoys me. I'm not sure if there's like anything that I could delete to make more room on my C drive. I feel like I shouldn't be like already using pretty much 200. 30, 30 gigabyte of that just from all the stuff and yes i already checked out most of my stuff i don't have any images on my main screen besides my uh, my wallpapers 
I don't have any music saved on my C, I don't have any videos saved on my C. Well, the, the recorded ones, yes, but I always clear them back up again once I converted them. I don't have that many documents saved, just like normal program stuff. And my download folder is kind of big, but at the same time, my download folder is only like four gigabytes, right? Like nothing here screams, oh yeah, uh, I just have a dump full of stuff so i'm not really sure what part really blocks that much storage but yeah it's it's it is what it is I mean, if I sort by like program size, the big ones are Photoshop, After Effects and Premiere Pro. These are like the big three and they are together are like maybe 10 gigabytes, which is also not, not huge. I don't know what the heck blocks so much storage on my C drive. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know how I fill up 250 gigabytes. I don't know. If you have like a terabyte drive and know how to use my PC, die for 250 gigabyte storage. I mean, I don't even have that less storage in my PC. I have, um, I have like. 680 gigabytes on my SSD and I have in theory a 2 gigabyte drive with like safe stuff with like um, backups of course there's my Konosuba data mining stuff which is probably like alone 50 gigabytes or more so that's like a huge chunk of just data lying there kind of curious now let, let me let me just go over that and see how much gigabyte my, my Konosuba data mining alone is <laughs> I'm already at 60 gigabytes and it's still going. <laughs> I mean, yes, I have a desktop and in the desktop there are some files as well, but... Let me double check just real quick how much that is. My desktop is like 187 MB. Don't get it. My roaming folder is like six gigabyte. Okay, my local low folder is apparently rather huge with like 30 gigabytes. And my local folder is... Twenty... Also 20 gigabytes. So yeah, um, my local is blocking 20 gigabytes and my local low folder is blocking so much. And I don't know what the heck is in there that blocks so much. But Arduino is like 300 and 500 MB, half a gigabyte. Asset Studio is absolutely not huge. I 
I mean, blue stacks is in there, so maybe blue stacks is... Nope. What the frick is so huge in here? Corsair's Redder. Crash dumps are in there, but they're not that huge either. <laughs> yeah, I need to just dig through my PC eventually to see what the hell blocks the 50 gigabytes there. There's probably probably something that eats way more storage than it should be. I probably can clean it up sooner or later. What you missed so far, only despair. Um, not much, just error summons, pretty much. And me getting a Sum Sum Lisa dupe instead of getting Halloween Lisa. And of course, I'm not going to pull at all for Christmas Lisa since I can't afford to wait at the moment. So, any pulls for Christmas Lisa would be needed to go through viewers. And viewers don't have the money either, so I'm just go not going to pull. That, that's pretty much it. I got Summer Lisa from the free pulls. Not, not Christmas, not Halloween. I got Summer Lisa, aka just a dupe, since she's already maxed out. And not using AMD graphics card, no, I have a... I have an NVIDIA 3070. You got some sort of Erika, oof. Do you recommend any emulator to carry from the Suba on the PC? Um, I use blue stacks so far. When I tried Nox back then, I just had so much problems with it, that I just stuck to Konosuba. So, Arena is physical block, I know that. So... Yeah, here I tried a little bit of pain quest grind to see if I can, you know, use any of those units for arena, but not really happy with that. Oh, you should not come on go You know my big problem here? You know what's my big problem here? You got Ares, congrats to Cypher. You watch new trailer when Kazuma narrates a letter? I watched it, yes, but it was pretty much like Scenery was just recapping and I couldn't understand so much of the letter, so it wasn't like that impressive to me. You got 2.3 mil with her in Syndrome, got 2.2 of the Cope team? What is Syndrome's Cope team then? YouTube.com Oh, he actually uses Leah, not Kazuma. Will Dust eventually come in, by the way? Guess we don't use Kazuma then, huh? Um. 
緒にトレジャーハント行ってみる Dude, two Never mind, my a i r i c a s actually maxed. It's just my. My Lia that's not maxed. Okay. Okay, no gold turn here. That's of course a good start. I mean, I'm pretty sure my Melissa is like not f a n g r i n d e d I'm pretty sure this Leah is also not f a n g r i n d e d Yep, yep. So that team would take a lot of f a n g r i n d i n g first before I can actually run it, huh? アクセルハーツはアクセルの街を中心に活動してるよ。アクセルハーツはアクセルの街を中心に活動してるよ。ああ、優秀な仲間が欲しい。どこまでやれるかわかりませんが、頑張りますね。Hey, at least I have a dark sword. Come on. There we go. There is our Cope Dark team. How much can we even save before the next battle comes?、Um, that's a good question. I mean, it's 10 days, so I think. Well, it, it depends on if you have any like whale bundles. Base level, you get like 180, I think, per day. So that's like 1800.、Um, if you have the 100 bonus quarts from, or like the 100 plus 80 bonus quarts from the two Welkins, that's another 1800 that you can potentially grab. That brings you to 3000, something like that. 3500, let's say that. You should be able to get another 2500 through the logging campaign. Potentially, worst case, just in the middle of the battle, you will get another 3000 from the monthly logging campaign. So that gives you another around 5000 quarts. So I think you should be able to get, let's say, 10 to 15k quarts, including the duration of the next banner. 
excluding the next event with the next event i'm not sure how it, what it is and what kind of event it is um but i, I think our 15k quarts should be doable so like five multis you should be able to get I use blue stack myself since they want to keep my stuff perfect. Sometimes it crashes, but any sense from time to time I use blue stacks to play. Yeah, I feel like blue stacks is just a superior version. Um, global, not really that, but maybe somewhat. I'm not sure. A lot of people say global is dead since we failed a milestone, but to be honest, the same thing happened in JP. In JP, one event we actually didn't get the last milestone because the venture was just bad and the same thing happened in global like i did 120 attempts and after that i had had everything from the shop that i cared about so i wasn't like really that into a, a grinding way more doing like 500 clears doing a thousand clears just for the sake of it um so people are calling it that and it's still call ups but i still think global is not dead yet i think global is really not dead yet たくさんのダメージを与えて高いスコアを大丈夫。キャラクターによって装備できる武器は違うからね。Pretty much all assists afterwards were just fan quest assists that you can just grind and level up. I was thinking would be the Dark Iris be good if you're running Erika. Uh, problem with the Dark Iris is yes, a CDR, yes, and that's good to have. But the big problem with her is she's only providing CDR. No attack buffs, no speed boost for your team, no attack boost for your team, just a 4 second CDR. With that, she doesn't provide that much assistance for your team that's why i don't think she's that great sadly you would need to make her to be the main dps you know but since she's single target i don't even think she works that great as a main dps in this arena any more info about the konosuba clothing game uh it releases in two weeks roughly and yeah uh the soon i as soon as i am allowed to do I will stream the first chapter. I'm still in discussion if I am allowed to stream more chapters. Uh, the only thing that I can kind of tease for now is that you should keep an eye on the unofficial, uh, unofficial, uh, unofficial Konosuba Fantastic Days Discord because there might be a surprise coming related to the game. Yes, the boss has mage resistance this time. That's why you're on a physical team. You can use free star, dark megu. Uh, yes, you can do that, but I think the gauge on your important units, the key units, is more valuable than using megu for the wave clear and explode. At least most of the time, unless you use megu to buff your team, I don't think megu is worth running uh, just for the wave clear alone. And my Erika Daggers level 1, thanks for the reminder, since I need to upgrade the weapons. I need to craft them. Skill By the way, I have a problem. I don't have enough dark crystals to make two weapons. So I think I might just need to go with the um, with the dark. 
uh, with the fast scepter and not the fast scepter with the goddess scepter for Leia since I think the dagger for Relissa is more important than the spear for Leia we could also go with spear for Leia and you know give Erika the a personal weapon that would also be an idea to just boost that but that's also not the greatest idea When they get 17% damage boost, meanwhile that one gives 20%, so that's a 3% damage loss versus running this spear that gives you 13 versus 21. Huh, may maybe I need to actually craft a spear, not, not, the, not the dagger here. I only know a free iOS emulator if there's one. There is one, yes. I already tried it out, but I forgot the name. I forgot to unlock it. That's also a great feature that will come in the future that you can even use locked materials to craft new weapons, but they will be like a pop up with, like, you sure you wanna use this material? And if there are like multiple, which of these materials do you actually want to use? And last but not least, there will be a button that will instantly push you to the upgrade screen. And there will be plus and minus buttons so you can instantly push a weapon to the max level and don't need to press through the menu like five times just to push it to max. Also, isn't school Erika tier 1 rush rate? Is she better than off element rush rate? Uh, she's not only tier 1 rush rate, but she's full AoE, which is of course good in an AoE arena. She's also AoE rush rate, which we don't have besides Max Komiko. But Komiko has like insanely long cooldowns, that's why it's not recommend using her. And she also provides at least a tier 1 team speed boot, which is also not the greatest. But you know, since it's the Copcom anyway. It's better to have a tier 1 speed boost than no speed boost. I mean, Melissa can self speed boost. If you actually have Lisa, Lisa can also self speed boost. And with that, um, it's only like your third unit that doesn't have a sell, uh, speed boost unless it has a self speed boost. Like, for example, Kazuma. You run Kazuma, Melissa, and Melissa, you can literally just run three self speed units and don't need the speed boost provider. Peter, he turned into a pig after being bitten by an irradiated pig. Now he transforms the highest cost card in your opponent's hand into a pig, but it keeps its in Skippo. Is your Lisa long term? I highly recommend checking out my butter guide to your noodle later. Uh, but yes, she is a long term unit. And with long term, I mean, she's the best off element AoE rush rate unit that we have. And with that, she will be usable in pretty much every AoE arena in the future, unless there's a dedicated specific AoE rush rate unit for that element. Which means, unless you cook all of them, Lisa will probably see some kind of use in the future. I forgot to use potions, I should probably just use fame potions here. Kago 
私の美貌に見とれてた膝ざわずきなさい炎のセレナーデイ歌う準備はできてるよやっぱりチームアイディーヒーユーハーフ、ムルサー、フォーズ、ヒーロー、エンド、エウイダメージ、ユーハーフ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、フォーズ、We actually got two drops per unit. I'm surprised. I'm not 100% sure if Mass Melon is physical damage, but I'm kind of expecting to be hyper damage with having like his wrestling move bonk, but also his like AoE sparkling magic damage thingy. I'm just going to try to. He only used five at once. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. But yeah, so I mostly want to go for HP, but especially in the beginning, I'm just grabbing any defense that I can get just to make um, team more consistent. Like, worst case, if I go with like 10 HP, 5 physical defense, and 5 magical defense, that's still kind of the same at the end. Um, pretty 100%, but. It should still be usable and will allow me to just be done easy with Fang Quest Grind since I don't need to hard focus on HP stuff. Only if the attack set is missing, I need to focus more. Yo, go turn already, Hawk dude. And golden back, we don't need that. Don't need that either. Hey, not a bad start, not a bad start. Oh yeah, really special game, not like the same FIFA since like, I don't know how long. They would never do that guys, right? They would never make the same game for the 15th time in a row. I forgot it again. No. <laughs> I forgot to check it off. Is any replacement for school, Erika? I mean, honestly, Melissa has an AOE reset. To be honest, if you don't have that Erika, um. Go <laughs> home, 
I mean, yes, you can run on some Melissa with her ulti too. Um, you can then potentially just run... Maybe, maybe you can just fast Chris, not sure. Like... I'm, I'm not really sure if with like an awesome Melissa and another that off element unit you really would go with Refresh Red since so there aren't that many skills that would be affecting Refresh Red so I'm not really sure if awesome Melissa is worth it at all but you, you could try awesome Melissa and then just another dark unit maybe Kazuma actually maybe just Mia for the physical attack back gauge up and stuff like that um, to get Melissa's ulti out more often and then Ria. That's something you can try out. But Mako's not worth it since she's uh, damage blocked. Sixty nine, nice. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys are prepared for a lot of inquest grind. I try for no rest and full focus on Gage up or Melissa. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Like you just don't run Gage up at all and run OG Melissa with like two supports to buff her personal damage as much as possible. Or if you or like the on um, Melissa and try to bring her to OT often and have like another strong DPS on her side. Yeah, if you don't have Onsen, Melissa, then I think just ignore Rush Red, go with like Fast Chris Speed or like a uh, Speed Plus Gate Shop unit, whatever, to buff Melissa to get her to ult ASAP and off as often as possible. Very good best Melissa, is it okay? Uh, no. <laughs> Depends on what you think is okay enough. Keep in mind, Dust's damage is good. He just doesn't have that much team help besides the start damage boost. Um, in a team like that, you would you would be missing any kind of attack buffer for your team unless you run Erika OT1, which then needs no gauge up, so the, the damage from Melissa and stuff would go low. So it, it, it's hard to recommend this strat. You can try it. You might get a million with it, but I'm. Um, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if you can get that much higher with it. Many back trades that I don't need. Yeah, depending on how you define okay, every every team can be okay or not. That's that's true. Oh, 
Okay, that's kind of fucked. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Both turn 20 magic attack on Kazuma. It's not the worst. His ulti 1 and 2, uh, ulti 1 version 1, ulti 1 version 2 are magical attack, you know? If you ever would run him like that, it's, it's not the worst to have. It's not the greatest either. But hey, that, that can also happen, right? And the Melissa is useless. It's completely useless, okay? So who can complain now, Yannick? Who can complain now, huh? Erika can replace with Melissa if you got her. Melissa, Leah, Erika, second. Mia, Melissa, Erika, Melissa, Erika, Kazuma. He's for sure can stay in top 1k easily. Yeah, I would assume so. I have a Lisa with multi. It's too much luck for me. Yeah, yeah your luck is crazy. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. With so much luck, you really should join the membership on YouTube side to support me a little bit. Or just drop a donation. That's, that would also be totally fine. あの手の心臓。ハートしちゃう。覚悟はいい。私の歌聞いてくれないか。内緒ですよ。そう。流れるようなステップで。炎の精霊だぜ。邪魔な奴は決して。あの手の心臓。ハートしちゃう。膝ま
That's four out of six, okay? That, that's a fine quota. That's not good. That's really not good. That's trash. That was one drop. Wow. Thank you, Melissa, for nothing. That's also bad. Oh, dude. Is OG or Onsen Melissa better for the arena? Um, if you have this Erika or if you have Loisa, then OG Melissa is 100% better. If you don't have school Erika and you don't have Onsen um, Christmas Loisa, then you can potentially run Onsen Melissa for the AoE Rash Red plus ulti combo that's doable. Like, if you have some kind of AoE Rash Red for Dark, use that. If you don't have any Rash Red for Dark, you can go get away with Onsen Melissa, maybe. I haven't tried it yet, so it might just be I'm wrong and that's not doable. I have Erika, but the friend is T1. Dude, I'm using the same combo. I'm using the same combo. Yes, it's only tier 1, but we don't have that many AoE skills here anyway. Like, Leah is double single target, um, Erika is double AoE, but one of the skills is the retro itself, so it can't be affected by retro most of the time. Um, and Melissa has her ulti and one skill that is AoE, so... The one rush fit is fine in that case. It's not perfect. Lisa is 100% better than his Erika, but you know, it's still it's still usable slash doable. I forgot the potions again. I'm stupid, guys. I'm stupid. some physical attack that I want to see. Hell yeah. And we're back to Pain Peko. Dude, where's my... Where are my physical attack drops, Melissa? My Melissa plays against me. She literally does not want me to get any drops here, I see. Dude, I just want to be done that I can't do arena runs. Okay, 
By the way, guys, I currently have a really, really big problem, which I'm not sure what I should do. And I, maybe I kind of want your guys' opinion on it a little bit. Let me let me check double click real quick after this attempt if I can show it to you. My Melissa is trolling me. Now Malia is trolling me as well. What the hell? Did 970k in arena with Melissa is good damage. Uh, I know hard whales are able to do like 2 million, so um, not really sure. But I'm also not sure how much damage people can do that are not whales. So it's hard for me to think how high you are or not i think you might be top 5k but i don't think you might are top 1k but maybe i'm completely wrong we'll see okay okay so about the question guys here okay i need to hear anyone's opinion which of these headphones design do you think is cooler? Like, if, if you take a quick look at me, right, you, you can see that I have the one on the right at the moment, pretty much. Um, but my current headphones have some troubles, aka mostly the, the leathery texture on the headband is wearing off, and I, I don't know how I can replace it. B, I don't know, um... I don't know where I get a replacement part for them and see there's sadly like no cover that you can put on top of it thanks to the cat ears that you can't you know cover it up and anything like that so I'm scared of using them at the moment and now I'm like in the struggle of which of these two should I keep as my next pair like do I just want an upgraded version of my current headphones aka the design on the right which Still looks cool. Um, it still has functioning speakers as the ears. Um, it is still has the glowing part. It actually is a little bit better audio quality now and a um, bit more comfortable maybe. Uh, meanwhile, the one on the left is like the more modern version. Um, it has a lot brighter RGBs in the ears since there are like no speakers in there. It can just be full RGB. And the side things are a little bit less glowing from the front because you know there's like nothing to see from the front only the side thing the only only downside that i have with the left ones are um can i make it like that right here right here right there's the hinge to you know move the earpieces and it literally just opens like a crocodile mouth or something like that or like just a general mouth so like the point the inner point 
aka like this point here this is fixed and it, on on this axis it will move up and down which means on the other side there will be a gap opening up here and i actually managed already to two or three times put my fingers in there and just squeeze my fingers in there which hurts so uh yeah <laughs> Any opinions on which headphones you guys like more, left or right? Left is better, left, the one, uh, left one seems more comfy or better quality. Um, th that's a problem. Like, let me show them real quick again. Um, yay. Yeah, does this seem higher quality? Um, Priestly, they are the same. They are pretty much the same. There's like no big difference. The mic or neither of them is great and I have my streamer right, so it doesn't matter anyway. And to be honest, either I'm just, just, maybe I'm stupid, but for me, I think the right one actually sounds a bit better quality-wise. Like, it's a little damp on the left, if that's the right word, I'm not sure. Like, for all the reviews that I read on the left headphone, it's just that they are for the aesthetics, the sound quality is not that great. And I think they are better than my current headphones, but they are like not that much better. And I think the right, I think the right sounds better. Actually, it's it, it might be stupid, but I think the right one actually sounds a bit better from the from the few tests I did. I put them on for like both 10 minutes or so so far to test them. But I'm, I don't know, I don't know. If I if I buy the left ones, I kind of need to rebrand and put the new headphones on myself, kind of like you know. So not sure if I want to do that, uh, but yeah, it's hard for me. It's hard. Yeah, this dumb doesn't sound scenic. Um, the, the thing that I can hurt myself with the left what, left pieces is kind of annoying. The fact that I actually squeezed my fingers in there like two times. I'm scared of putting them on because I know I need to double check where I put my fingers while grabbing them and trying to put them on my ears that I'm not running into the chance of actually hurting myself, which is such a weird thing to think about when putting on headsets. Food is ready. See ya. Yeah, see ya later, Yannick. Enjoy your food. I mean, I could for uh, I I don't know like who I should else I should grind. I mean, I could put Kazuma there, maybe for a slot four, but. There's like no other dark unit that I that I know right now that I kind of want to grind. So I'm just may, maybe I get a good good gold turn on Erika here. So. See who wears it on us. I mean, that's the thing, yes, it's, it will be my decision in the end, but 
I just wanted to hear your opinions because to be honest, at first I was really like, yeah, the left ones just look more quality-like. They also feel more quality-like. Um, like if you just pull them in your hands, they also don't like feel bad putting on your head. So it's not like they're bad quality. It's just the audio quality I feel like is a bit worse on, than the other. But um, I, I will test it around a bit more. I will also. Mm. Make more tests tomorrow or so, and then I try to decide until Wednesday. The little big problem is that I have. I have the left ones here for like a month now, and I can only return them until February 2nd. So, like, I should worst key send them away on Wednesday. Like the latest day I should them I should send them away as witness day, so I really don't wanna waste too much time in worst case can't return them and kinda be forced to choose one specific piece because I can't choose the other one. So um yeah. Really? Zero physical attack drops, Leah? Zero? Guys, Leah is scamming me. Leah is 100% scamming me. What the hell? Some units I did hundreds of fame quests without uh, pots. Well, actually, most. <laughs> I mean, so far I did most of my fame quest grind without pots either. I just bought some pots because I wanted, you know, to do the arena run here, and I can't do the arena run without having my units at least somewhat grinded because with like no stats it will not be represent of what's ever going to happen full free lolisa one pull areas and 150 pulls two lolisa fuck you pull from lolisa and you didn't get her and you got areas in the first pull or is, is that right marcel did i send you correctly here the yeah, Pochi, that's another problem of I'm a streamer and I need to I need to produce content and content in that case actually means I need to be somewhat fast because to be honest if I don't upload an arena run guy day one or day two it won't get many views to be honest since well, people can just check the top ranked teams and copy that most of the time so yeah Game is louder than my voice? What? I asked already two times if the audio is fine. No one tells me. Now you suddenly be like, Yo, by the way, your audio level is kind of high. Hmm. And it's it's really interesting because like I have my I have my peagles where I can see the volume and 
I'm way, way louder than the game based on my OBS program. Even before turning it down, I was like at least 20 decibels louder than the game. So I'm kind of confused how I sound louder for you guys than I should sound based on what I can see on my screen. I'm really confused by that part. I'm really, really confused about that part. Yeah, Pochi says my volume is fine, so I'm really confused now, huh? <laughs> well, F you, Mars, uh, F for you then, Marcel. Only a bit more, guys. Only a bit more. <gasps> We're getting close, boys. We're getting close. Soon, TM will be done. Soon, TM, we can do arena runs. Only a bit more, guys. Only a bit more. <laughs> By the way, YouTube side, the stream is fine. Any any buffering, any loading, anything like that. Everything fine when I use the proper thing. Nope, it's fine. Good, good. I'm still scared after the beginning that we had some buffering problems, so I'm just double checking that there's like nothing left. Okay, I mean, Leah doesn't have. Leah doesn't have a gold turn, but she has a silver turn. And to be honest, I'm just rolling with that now. I don't care. I'm just going with that. I hope you're all doing well, having some of the worst days of my life at the moment. What is happening? What's going on on your side then? Yay, we cleared Fame Quest once! Woo! Oh, wait, have I done the event boss already? Nope. Let me do that first before we actually go towards Arena.
I see that happen with really bad parts. I mean, really bad part. Don't, don't. Dude. Do something you enjoy. Just try to relax a bit. Have a bit of a good time. Fun, you know. Don't, don't even think too much about these kind of things. If something like that pops to your head, just, you know, try to relax. And if that doesn't help, find someone to talk to and just, just chill a bit. It actually helps a lot, trust me. I think Cecily might not be the best option in this arena, uh, this multi battle, but uh, I was lazy. I just wanted to do it so we can actually collect the stuff. Yes, we'll talk about it uh, about it to someone in a few days. Luckily, I have someone again I can talk to. That's good. Like, worst case, if there's really no one, we could also try to talk a bit if that helps you out. Uh, of course, it's a bit harder when I stream, but like, worst case, if there's really no other option, you can just write to me and be like, dude, I really need someone to talk to. You have time, and I see if I can make some time for you. If that's something. Of course, it's always just better to talk to someone you, you know, kind of know. You like talking to a friend. <clears throat> it's most of the times better and easier than talking to, to a stranger. Card in your opponent's hand into a pig, but it keeps its power and cost. This disruptive oh, my head hurts. What is Eris doing? Eris gives you action gauge, a.k.a. Uh, you pretty much just get a turn for free when you use her. AK, okay, for example, if you start on the first wave with like half your turn ready and you use Ares, you will pretty much just have like one and a half turns ready and you can instantly use skills at one minute mark without waiting for anything. My quartz count is actually way lower than I wanted to be, damn. I mean, yes, I think. That's 20 ranks, a 900 quartz, so that's like. There will be 18k quartz, so I would be at 13-30k, which is high report, which is not bad, but I still need way more than that just to be safe for with. So as much as I would love to pull for Lisa, I just can't at the moment, so I'm just going to not do that. Sure, you can do that if... Hey, where's my team? There's the gold turn, there's the gold turn, the absolutely tragedy bad one, and there is the last gold turn one. <laughs> I mean Kazuma somewhat grinded, not perfect, but that that's that's something. Let me just quickly go through here. I wanna see how my shards and stuff look for these units. I mean, Erika is done in dark, that's good. Melissa is also done in dark, and they don't need her ulti 2 with that team. And that's good. And the last unit in my team was Leah. And Leah is also fully done in dark and with her ulti, so. <coughs> Looks like we might be ready, boys. Looks like we might be ready to do that. Yeah, 
working. Let me double check something real quick. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay. Do we stall here or do we just Okay, okay, got it, got it. Eight out of eight, yeah. Luckily, I counted a lot of shards before I even got it, so that's great. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm going to do one run just to get a feel of the strat. And then I'm going to record the banner guide video, okay? Just, just so you guys know that I'm not talking that much this run. I also need to see if everything works. Like, do I have enough damage in every card to clear the wave of the dagger? <laughs> Okay, that works out great. I think it might be better to actually delay here for her. Nice nice Just use Eris here again. That was bad, that was bad, that was a my view.
Oh, Rash Fred ran out. Oh, stupid. I'm using the basic here so I can at least turn 5 the ulti here. There we go! 2.1 mil! Not too bad, not too bad. Good enough damage to clear the mobs on the side. I've just tried a second super game. Can you tell me if a, a good team I will ride in a second? Run this Rin, Firepower, the Melissa, Hot Dreams, Chris, Legendary Adventure, Eric, Legendary Adventure, Michirugi, Prosative Kindness. My team fine like that. Um, You should focus on... Uh, like... For what do you need a team? If it's for Arena, you should really focus on getting a team with a lot of dark units, like this one. You can see all of my units are dark units. And for example, I think a lot of your units aren't like that. If it's just for general content clearing, I actually would recommend you to just go with Legendary Chris, um, Legendary Erika, and a slot 3... Mm, maybe just Rin. Maybe just Rin. I feel like that could be a solid team for general content. But yeah, let's do the banner guide here. Let's do the banner guide. <clears throat> hey guys, cancel my gaming here. A new arena is out, and of course, we are back with a new arena guide. This time, actually, on day one. So, you guys have the fast info possible here. And yeah, we have a new dark arena with our muscle melon as our enemy. Key things here to note are, it's an AoE arena, so you kind of want some kind of AoE damage and or rest red. He's not taking a lot of damage from magical units, so you kind of want to run a physical team, which is a lot difficulty in, difficult in the global version than in the GP version, since we're lacking a few collaboration units that would do wonders here, but don't worry, I got you covered. We still have good possible teams that we can run here. So for example, I'm running a team of School Erika as the speed and rest trip provider. We're using OG Melissa, that's right guys, OG Melissa is back with her ulti, one, uh, ulti 2 version 1 for some AoE dark damage. Last but not least, we actually use Idolia here for the tier 2 physical attack buff from her skills and the CDR from her ulti of course. And just for more single target damage, because we are actually able with this team to clear off the small enemies and just have the boss standing at the end. So the AoE damage is good enough that you can actually do stuff here. You can, of course, replace Erika with Melissa, the current new unit in the banner. Um, you can also just use maybe Onsen Melissa for the Rash Red unit and then don't run OG Erika and run another DPS unit in the front. Like, for example, um, Mate Mel or the Kasuma here. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it out yet, but you'll probably find a good replacement DPS unit here for the Dark Slot. Um, for Leah, she's your speed buffer and uh, your attack buffer, so worst case you can just run fast Chris here to, you know, buff your team, provide speed up, and of course her damage might be a little bit lower, but the damage of your other units will be increased. One small hint that I actually want to give here, if you don't have a proper restaurant unit and you run something like Ansa Melissa and you then don't have another good DPS to go along with her, just ignore restaurant. If you don't 
have a great team to make with a Reshrit unit. You can also just go for pure DPS build and just trying to do as much damage as possible and ignoring Reshrit. Um, team passive trade provider here is of course Komiko for the 6% dark trade. If you don't have that, you can also just use, for example, Bikini Megumin. It still gives 3% dark damage boost. Since this is also a pure physical team, you can just go with the normal 2% physical attack trait. Or if you have her, you can also use Casino Melissa for the 3% physical attack trait plus the 3% water damage boost, which at least somewhat benefits this team by having the water ulti only. Yeah, it's not like damage there is great, but 3% physical attack is still better than 2% physical attack. Water assist, we are of course using our new OP assist Eris. Um, I already recorded a video about what she's doing and how great she is, so check it out if you haven't already. I really hope that I just upload them today, both back videos back to back. So a lot of videos for you guys to watch. As a sub assist, we are of course using the rock stone. What's it called? Uh, Dark Magic R. Um, it gives you dark damage boost and more if your team is above 70% HP, which is doable most of the time because Melissa's ulti 2 version 1 actually heals you. You have a little bit of healing from Leah's ulti and with that, you should stay relatively healthy and that just makes this assist the best you can do. So let's just jump right into this arena and let me show you guys how you can actually play this arena. To be honest, it's really straightforward. There's not like too much you need to worry about. We just start off with instantly using Ares Assist here. I'm pressing pause here to just press the skill button better and to explain stuff there. Again, if you guys don't know why I press the pause button or what pause button, what the pause button is good for, it's just there that you can A, take a quick look at your screen to understand what's going on. So for example, take a look at the time top left to calculate how long our buff's going what are the cooldowns of your skills look like, um, to time stuff like here. By just pausing, I know I can instantly press the button and don't waste too much time on the wave and just be faster. So yeah, like pause has a lot of different effects and use cases here. Here we actually just wait a little bit for the full turns to be ready on any unit. In that case, Leah is the first one to be ready. Then we just press Leah's skill, we press the auto button, so we'll instantly get used in the final way. Then we just try to press on the melon as early as possible to normally just hit him, but in this case um, I was a little bit slow and we actually just hit the small button. But it's still fine. So here we actually just wait a little bit because the boss will just do an EU ulti which allows Leah to get the ulti off. If you get lucky here and actually get free hits on Melissa, you can just use your ulti there instantly. Um, if not, just do a basic like I do and then use the ulti. Last but not least, Erika ulti to provide some gauge up to get your units back to ulti soon again. And here is now pretty much just rinse and repeat, aka we provide here some AOE rush red. EOE skill here with the turn 5 to time stuff better. By the way, Malia just doesn't have the um, EOE, um, the turn 5 gold trade because it didn't drop for me, so she's using a silver trade. So that's also something that you can just improve here. Just going to use all ulties here. Again, you can potentially just wait for Melissa to get her um, ulti off better timing-wise, but still think it's totally fine to do it like that. At least that makes it a little bit easier to play since you don't need to wait, install, and time stuff. Good double crit on the smaller mobs here, that's great. That was a misclick, I didn't want to use the skill here on Melissa, but that's fine, because Ares Assist will be ready in just a second and we're going to instantly use it here. More like we use ulti first here and then we use the assist skill. 
and again will just give us one extra turn so we can just use the basic here use the Leia skill here and just use the EOE skill back in time to make up for small misplay we did here I should use the Melissa skill here first that was on my B Again, so far not the cleanest run, but it should st still show you the rough idea of this run. Uh, I might just, you know, upload a better run, worst case, uh, one or two days later. <laughs> you can see the small mobs are pretty much already dead, so... There we go, now it's just focused down on the big mob and, you know, just use your skills as you can pretty much, there's like not much to worry about here. Now the Melissa ulti here, we should be able to get one more Leia ulti in. Which should allow us to get a double skill here in on Melissa. Potentially. Oh, sadly not. But yeah, just like that, 2 million. Again, if you don't misplay like I did with some stuff and maybe get a few more crits on the big mob because you see the small mobs die early enough, even like even without the crits, they would just die by the end. So all the crits towards the smaller mobs don't matter too much. It's cool to see, of course, don't get me wrong. But you want the big crits on the single target mob, aka the big melon because only these crits kind of matter so crits in this arena actually don't matter too much if it's on the small mobs but matter more if it actually hits the right mob but yeah you see melissa doing solo 1 million damage here pretty nuts i know um but yeah that's pretty much the strat so i hope this helps you out if you did like this graph for more content watch me live in two days wednesday for some amazing eminence in the shadow gacha pulse in the chp version and see y'all in the next one Bye bye. Why you don't use the scroll? It gives ten percent. Ah, da, 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 da. Wait, wrong thing, assist. The scroll, I explained it before, the scroll gives you damage 10% if the enemy has a status condition. And in that case, status condition doesn't mean stuff like rash shred. Status condition means stuff like binding or blinding the enemies. And yes, you can blind the small mobs and you would do increased damage to them with it. That's correct. But the small mobs die already fast enough and you can't blind the big mob as far as I've seen. And even then it's not consistent. Only if the enemy is blinded, you would get the bonus damage. Otherwise, it would just be the normal 3%. With that, it's just easier and safer to have the normal rock, the magic ore, because the uptime of that is just way better than the uptime of this, if it's even possible to blind the mob, the boss. By the way, thanks for the like. Uh, everyone liked the video. I, <laughs> I, I liked it. Thank you.
I, I always, always want to go to recording tab to record the video because I always forget that <laughs> I'm streaming and I don't need to record the video on my phone itself. Oh yeah, sorry, small edit here at the end. Uh, things that I forgot to say. Again, my Leah only has a silver trait, so that's something to improve. None of them have any kind of physical attack trait, so that's something you can do to upgrade. You can also give Erika a dark weapon that should also help you with the damage increase. You will lose a little bit of speed, but in that case, it's actually completely fine to, you know, just go for the more damage part. My Melissa dark earring thing is also only level five out of six. So these are all improvements that you can just make to make the team even stronger. Für mich schon etwas besser. Geh was essen und danke dir, wie läuft bei das. Kann er doch und lass das Essen schmecken. So wie no Sozai und Kyoka Sozai war, Main Quest oder Azmerare. Ja, I don't have enough to craft another dagger. But what I wanted to know is, I have six now. I, I need, I need nine more. I need nine more to max out the bangle. I don't think that's doable. I don't need to record. God damn it, stop it. Um, I'm just going to record another run here. Worst case, I just cut it out and added the other run in here or not, but uh, yeah, don't worry. You will be später. We're starting off pretty simple by just using air assist here into an Erika speed skill. By the way, I pause here, generally speaking, so I can time the skill better. Because the moment the Aerys assist animation is happening, when your unit doesn't have the skill already ready, you can't see the skills there. So only after the animation is finished, the skills pop up. And that way you have just an easier time, you know, pausing here, see which skill is where, so you can double focus, and then just spam the button ASAP and use it without the time ticking even down to 59 seconds. And on the second wave, we just wait a little bit here until one unit has the action full. Again, I just pause here to have an easier time timing my skills, aka when it's full. Like that. Then I'm pressing the skill, pressing auto, so it will instantly get used in the final wave. And here you kinda need to a little bit fast. That way you can actually hit the big melon instead of the small ones. Otherwise, if you aren't that fast with your fingers, you can also just finish the wave before a little bit earlier so you have time to click on the boss first and then click on the skill. After that, it's pretty simple. Um, we're of course waiting for Erika to apply her rest rep and then just use our double skills. We kind of want Erika and Melissa here to take three hits, that way she can instantly ult. Uh, boss AoE is guaranteed first turn, so that's the first step here. Now we just kind of need both small mobs to hit her. If they don't do it, it's all fine. You can just use a basic, like I need to do here. Just use a basic and then use the ulti here. But of course, if they do a double hit, that's the best thing you can hope for. That's the thing you want. Okay, after using all the ults here, it's just now second time of skill rotation. Switch over here to reapply the rush red first. Use a single target skill here. Pausing to see Melissa's skill. Use the AoE here with the turn 5 for the big AoE damage. You're actually now going to use Leah's skill first because I think boosting the damage, especially early on the AoE skills, is more important here. Now I can just use the speed boost. Use the eerie rush red. Here, actually, wait now until I can use the Melissa ulti. Nice, you. And then I'm using the Erika ulti. You can also use the Erika ulti early if Melissa doesn't get hit that much to make it a little bit smoother. But, um, you know, if it's possible to ult before the Erika ulti, so you don't need the Erika ulti. That's also um, always something nice to have here. Oh, 
Spank like that skill, spank like that skill, another EOE 5 turn skill, nice too. Um, the second charge of Ares you can pretty much just use whenever you think it's worth using. There's like no best option or anything like that. Using a basic here. And for example, I'm just going to use it here right now since I'm using a double ulti. Dude, I get double crits but not in the big mob, which is really sad because you can see the mobs are already more than half dead and the run is, you know, just past the half minute point. So this stuff doesn't actually matter that much. So it's just, you know, kind of sad that they get the crits on the small mobs that I don't need to. Okay, let's see where the boss hits. Okay, actually nice. It just gives me another ulti here. Another crit on a small mob, really sad. Now all the small mobs are gone and now it's just focus on the big mob pretty much. Hey, a crit. Okay, with luck we should be able to get another single target skill or like a skill for Melissa in here. I won't be able to get that skill in. Oh, Satch! So close to the Melissa skill. Oh, dude. I mean, I played better, but I feel the, the scores are still worse than my first run, which is kind of sad, dude. How was my first run the best one? I'm confused. That's why you don't practice, guys. Practice would have taken the first run as a practice run. And it wouldn't be even be close to that. Practice is a scan, guys. Main thing of this arena is just focus on maximize Melissa's ulti. Rest is less than priority. I actually think that's wrong. Even like, even if you don't turn five the Melissa ulti, the small mobs will die sooner than later anyway. I think actually, if you can properly time it, getting a five turn on your single target skill with Melissa is actually potentially more beneficial. Now, I'm not really sure how much more or less damage Melissa's ulti versus the skill does. So maybe it's the skill damage is actually higher. Maybe the ult damage is higher. I didn't take a proper look there. So yeah. But hey, we did two videos, and I need to pretty much drop both videos back to back. Okay, 
バトルアリーナは毎週開催中ですハイスコアを狙いましょう受付中のクエストはこちらになります Well, time to dump all the remaining stamina in Fin Quest, and then I can go to JP or so. We'll talk about the turn trade. Do you have any idea if we actually know how much percent of an attack plus for a gold turn? Do you want to know if we know the damage bonus we get from gold or uh, from physical attack on gold turns, or do you want to know the odds of getting a gold turn with physical attack trait, for example? I'm kind of not sure if the gold turn without any modifier or non gold turn, but like 30% attack might play better. The gold 5 turn is just better than the attack stat. Gold turn without physical attack stat is still better than a silver turn with a physical attack stat. I mean, it, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Um, like, take that skill here. That healed 26k, right? That was Melissa's single target, I think, or was it? Let's just take the Melissa basic here, okay? That was 12k. That was 12k damage with a normal basic. So no multipliers or anything, just the normal Melissa basic, right? That was 12k damage. How do we get to the 12k damage here? Um, we don't 100% have the actual formula and I'm too lazy to dig through the game files to find it out, but... If we take a quick look at my current Melissa... We can see that she has around 967 physical attack with fame and um, Yeah, so with fame and all the assists she has 1864 physical attack, right? And the normal basic deals 126% damage so let's just take 126 times the 1864. That's like. That's like a basic that should deal without resistance 2348. 0.64 damage so the fact that it only dealt 1200 potentially means that the enemy has like i don't know 100 armor I, i'm not really sure it, out of my head how the resistance works but depending on the enemy resistance of course damage gets lower and in that case you lose roughly it's not one fourth it's not 50 like 40 percent let's just say 40 percent you roughly lose 40 percent let's just do that um, divide it by 100, multiple times 60. So yeah, it's, it's between 50 and 60% damage that you still get at the end. So, like 50% of the original would be 1174, 
Um, of course, it also comes down to a little bit of RNG. If you get a high roll, if you get a low roll, but just roughly say, okay, the enemy has so much armor that in that case, damage basically does half the damage it should normally do. So now just pretty much think, okay, if we now take 30 physical attack, which by the way can't happen in the silver trade. I think the silver trade is the max 28. Not sure. Maybe it's actually 30. Let's just say 30, right? Okay. Let's just say we increase the physical attack of Melissa here by 30. That would bring us to 1,894. So if we take that, 1,894 times the 126. Would deal on average around 2386. And if we take that times half, we would end up with 1900, uh, 1,193 damage. So in the end, you get like a 20, 30 damage increase by the physical attack, which over time, of course adds up and the higher the multiplier is the more it matters but it's only still just a fractional increase that is nice to have but not enough to have meanwhile the gold turn or the turn trade will give you the 10 or 20 i'm not sure how much it is but just a 10 percent damage increase every fifth turn if you just say you take your melissa single target skill that's super effective you also have rest rate on the enemy and it says a 50 percent higher multiplier will just like 10 percent of that skill will just deal so much more damage so attack multiplier is just barely an effect compared to the every, every turn correct that's why i recommend people to just go for the gold turn if you like the character and if you want to get maximum out of your character you can still try to get the tech stats it's an increase it will matter a bit especially like if the top ranks are really competitive 10, 10 more damage can make a difference between your ranks, if you know what I mean. Every damage matters, but it's not like it matters between, oh, doing a 10,000 damage more, it's just a small increase. Of course, the higher the general damage is, the more the tiny bit of damage increase will matter. So if a unit does like a million damage, 10% attack might be a thousand damage more or something like that. In the end, and that matters, a thousand damage is not negligible. But it's not like that important. So just focus on a gold trade. The moment you have a gold trade, you're set. And only after that, and after grinding all assists and all everything else, then you can start going for the physical attack trade and see if you can improve stuff. Like I'm just wasting more stamina on this team because my Leah doesn't have a gold trade. If my Leah would have a gold trade, I would be like, yo, I'm done. Let me switch to a different team where I actually need to grind more. I hope that answered your question. You're back. Did I miss anything? Uh, yes, Yannick, we did the arena runs already. I got like a 2.1 million damage roughly. No problem. That's why I'm here, to answer questions. Leah also doesn't have a gold turn. So Leah is just allergic versus gold turns. That's the, that's the TLDR here, right? いい歌う準備はできてるよ。あなたの心臓半年ちゃう。喜びなさい。ちょっと。ご褒美をあげるわ。I mean, guess I should be happy that I have at least a silver trait. Um, but then it's like 140 HP, so it's not like, like a good silver trait or anything like that. Ugh. What? I'm already streaming for two and a half hours? What? 
Wait, how the fuck did Maori streaming for one and a half, two and a half hours? What? What's happened? What? Was it really that long stuck in Fingers grind? あなたの Leah, where is your gold turn? Do you guys know what's really, really depressing as a content creator? You know what's really, really depressing? I, I literally just went for not even a minute on Twitter. I just went for not even a minute on Twitter, right? I just scrolled like five posts, instantly see like a person, VTuber, of course, being like, oh guys, in seven days is my first stream. So what do I do? What What is my stupid mind being like? Let's just double check because I'm curious how popular VTubers really are, right? I checked the Twitch channel. No streams. Zero streams. Zero. I repeat, zero streams. Nothing. Guess how many followers this VTuber has with zero streams compared to me who streams for actively for now over two years. <laughs> Luckily, it's not okay. <laughs> that would be even more depressing. It only has like 250 followers on Twitch, okay? But that's still like close to mine, okay? That's still close to mine. That there are probably VTubers out there who haven't streamed, who just have more Twitch followers than I do. I would not be surprised by that whatsoever. I would absolutely not be surprised by that. But like, oh, that's just depressing. That's that's. <laughs> do you guys think I should just buy a cute female VTuber? Um, having some chiggle physics with my male voice and make like 10,000 posts a day on, twi uh, on Twitter to, to get famous. Is, is that what I need to do, guys? Is that what should I do? Hello, darkness, my That's a good point for the sound, Yannick. That's a great placement for the sound. <laughs>
Well, it's anime, but of course, most young kids' sims will just ship instantly. It's it's not even just young kids, you know? It's it's really, really weird that I see streams with, like, not good, like, really, really bad 0850 default VTubers having, like, people donating, like, I don't know, like, they just have so many active subs and, like, donations and stuff like that, and I'm just out here like, hey, I have 10 subs total, I'm good, wow. It's, it's, it's just feels absolutely disappointed. It's just the idea of, like, if I was a girl, or if I would fake being a girl with, like, a filter. Like, I, I could be so much bigger. Even if I just play Code of Fat, I could be so much bigger. It just annoys the heck out of me because it's really, really depressing of having a huge community where you are a part of for pretty much four years now i'm part of the community since day one even before the game dropped to be honest in the in unofficial discord like i'm so active i have so many people that i know i make regular content i make guides i make everything and i'm still falling short to a guy or a girl who never streamed who just bought a cute looking vtuber and just outperforms me that's oh, just depressing I mean, Suryo, <laughs> du kannst schon einfach donaten für Fußbilder, okay? Das, 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 das wäre kein Problem. Ich kann gerne meinen Fuß in die Kamera halten, wenn du das willst. Für eine Donation, of course, ne? Hm, ja, ich glaube nicht, dass ich ja nicht für Fußball <lacht> um, Okay, I think, I think I'm done with Global. Yes, I still have the other things to do, like the... Like the, uh, the side quests. But I, I don't feel it right now. I really don't feel like doing it right now. That was enough global. Let me just go to JP, let me do at least like one arena run, and after that I'm seeing what I'm doing. Ich kann dir auch meine Hände zeigen für die Donation, Yannick. Aber ich muss leider noch warten ein halbes Jahr, bis du wirklich Geld verdienst. Moment. Item. Habe ich früher auch gemacht, Janik. Zeitung austragen. Aber du sagtest, du kannst schon nicht donaten. Von daher dachte ich, ich muss warten, bis du Geld verdienst, dass du donatest. Aber du kannst schon gar nicht früher donaten, Janik. Damit ist nicht kein Problem. It's a rainbow error, guys. Oh my god. You, you, you saw the difference you first see like matching errors together to make like bigger errors and then like after the first cutscene it's just like you have 10,000 bunnies you just can place apparently by pressing the buttons at the bottom bar there was like no hint or anything like that that the game is anything based upon these merging things 
Gacha uh, game ads are such a scam nowadays. It's ridiculous. Okay, so um, here's a quick update. We do one quick arena run, okay? One quick arena run. After that, I need to go AFK for like five minutes. I need to bring out the trash. And after that, um, I might just either continue with JP or go towards some Honkai Star Rail while I can. ま、最高の賞にしてみせる。好きですよ。ほっと一息。つけたかな。ほっと一息。つけたかな。いつだって私は踊り子だ。流れるようなステップで。この一撃で終わらせる。自分を信じて。スキルシュ。そこまで。踊るように攻撃を。できることなら何でもするわ。夢を叶えるまで私たち歌う準備はできてるよ。流れるようなステップで。この一撃で終わらせる。攻撃。できてるよ。ここは私に任せて。スキルシュ。水のラップビー。一旦一旦にしちゃうから。生きてみせるわ。スキルシュ。And my Emilia didn't get the second ulti off in time, which is really sad. <gasps> no, I misclicked. Thank you. 
I mean, that's better, but still not as good as I wanted to be, okay? Still not as good as I wanted to be. Yeah, there you saw. Um, GP arena run with the Resero units. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now I'm BRB taking out the trash. So let me just um, mute myself and make a quick text so people know what the heck's going on.
Okie dokie guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, let me answer stuff. April Fools just be the worst YouTube VTuber model. I mean, <laughs> I kind of thought about if I should be for April Fools. Like, worst case, just take the Frog Kazuma model, you know? Just take the Frog Kazuma model, um, maybe try to overlay the headphones over top of the frog and just be like, do a full stream of pure Gecko, 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 Gecko. But maybe I could just take a VTuber model of a girl and uh, be like, Hey guys! Will there be a maintenance for the JP version for the collab? Um, I don't know. Let me, double, let me double check. I think we should know this by current point. Uh, is there any official post about the maintenance? Hmm. There's no information about the maintenance so far on Twitter. Let me just scroll past the collab news, if it's like maybe an old news about the maintenance. Oh wait, there's the news. Uh, yeah, there will be a maintenance. Um, version 4.11 will we have a maintenance between 8 uh, a.m. and 2 p.m. Japanese time. So that time slot will be the maintenance, which means uh, the moment I wake up, 8 a.m. in the morning, the call-up is there. And from that point on, I can just go... And yeah, I think I just do the same as with all the other collaborations. I'm just going to, um, you know, on day one... Do, do the basic stuff, do the event, unlock the stages, um, do the daily single pull, and afterwards uh, I'm just going to, you know, wait, wait for the live stream to happen that I can do the live pulls. By the way, guys, I'm really, really getting screwed for the collaboration. <laughs> oh, I, I, look at my quartz count. I have like 18k. I think I have like 18k at the moment. So like, yes, we, we get a bit more, we get a bit more quartz. I should have a bit more quartz in here from collecting everything. But like, I might get to 20 K quartz or so? Not me, me, me? No, I don't think so. I think I should get to like 19.5k quartz or so. And afterwards, we get the 3k, of course. Um, I can do the event, so with, with luck and everything, I might be able to get to like 25k quartz. Keep in mind, there will be three freaking banners. Three. Oh. That will be tough. That will be really, really tough. I mean, I, I need to get some bundles just for the paid pulls alone, since um, 7k won't bring me far into the paid pulls territory. I <laughs> That's like two of the special bars already, not even like counting any step up or other kind of cool things that could exist there. So yeah, things will look interesting. Things will really be interesting. I actually think I might just go with like, um, I'm only pulling for banner one units, then for banner two, I will pull for banner two. And then on the last banner, I try to finish it off. Like, let's say I do a hundred pulls on banner one, I get alpha. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? I just I just stop when I get alpha. I don't care about Megumin for now. Then on the second part, I'm trying to get beta and union. 
um, see if I can get them without topping up too much. And then on the last banner, I of course see how much the last banner will cost me. And then I will still afterwards be able to decide, okay, how much more pulls can I do? Do I need to do whatever? Um, are there any cool upcoming banners that include like all the other units that I should maybe grab first, whatever. And then I will just see how I go and you know stretch this actually out into two to three summon sessions and don't be like i'm just going to pull for all the units on day one and be done bro just curse themselves to get nothing with Megu. that's a classic me experience i don't want Megus, and that's why i'm getting Megus. that's a classic experience Dude, my, my personal dream here, actually, so far, would be with the ticket, I just get part one alpha. Then I can just be like, you know what, guys, summon session is over, let's wait for part two, part three to drop, and then we continue summons. The moment I have Migu, I might just be, uh, guys, I I'm done, that that's it, I I'm done. I might still do the like the selection pull because that's a one in five chance still to get one of the collaboration units but i'm really i'm really interested how well, what they are going to do with the secret unit because in theory in theory shouldn't the secret B unit be there all the time from part one on or will it really just be a unit that drops in part three I don't know i don't know i don't know what the part three stuff is that really makes me curious like normally i would just be like sure it's just give me kazuma and part three is done but the fact that there could be a new unit that could be a thing that i actually want i'm not really sure if i would that uh, if i want that more or not but like yeah i think the, uh, the idea is the plan is to just go with the guaranteed collab unit first of course then we go with the selection banner and pray that we hit the one five or like the, the the four in ten chance to get one of the new units and after that it's just you know the 2k multis and see what we're going i don't even think there's a step up i don't remember a step up did they announce a step up i don't think they announced a step up right so yeah just after those it will be just be the normal 2k pulls and then we see what's going on I wish that I just get them in the first multi or second multi. That would be amazing. Surreal. But I just need that to happen three times in a row or more like five times in a row because right after the collaboration, there will just be the Ani. And with Ani, that just means even more banners, even more units, even more luck that I need. <laughs> okay, there's the guaranteed selection pull. There's the 10 4 stars. I actually think I just skipped the 10 4 star for now. It will still last until the last day. So, um, you know, I can still do it later if I want to, if I think it might be worth risking. But the selection thing should be fine to use day one, and so are the other things. Like, the only thing here that's kind of confusing me if there is a secret unit, right? Do we know from day one? Because, like, can we include that secret unit in the selection banner? Can we get the guaranteed collab unit from from uh, the, the, is the mysterious unit a collab unit? Can we get it with the guaranteed collab ticket? Is this a thing? Do we know? Or do we not know? I don't know. I don't know. You're wishing Ani gives you double unit cards. How would you make double unit cards? That's the point I'm interested in. Like, yeah, we have Puni Dodo that's kind of dual unit, but they only have like one kid and one ulti. Let's say you combine Aqua with Megumi. Does it just mean you can choose which ulti you use and you can choose which skill you use? Will it just be a special ulti combo per unit duo? And there are just like normal units that you can pull. Like, how do you think of dual units? That's that's uh, like I like the concept. It's just hard for me to imagine how they're going to do that. If it's just another unit with like two units on a card and they just stand there together on the battlefield, that's cool and all. But 
it would like be that crazy new different kind of thing so that would be really interesting My biggest wish for JP is that they finally, finally decide to give us proper bundles. Dude, imagine if JP had global bundles. Give me adventurer rank bundles. Dude, I could get all the bundles from 1 to like 250. Sure, I would pay worse because a thousand bucks for all of the bundles if I would buy them one by one. That should, but that should give me like enough quarts to be set for the whole year or something like that. Even if I need to pity a few times, I would be so sad. Uh, sad on quartz. Like, just just give me good bundles. I, I wanna wait for you, but I don't wanna don't wanna buy non-bundle quartz. That's the worst feeling. But yeah, um I think this is time for me to end the stream, guys. Three hours and fifty minutes is a good enough time on the stream. Uh timeline i suddenly need to go towards the kitchen and prepare some food because i'm getting hungry and i want to eat something i still hope you enjoyed the stream um later today there should be the two youtube videos for the iris bundle guide and the arena guide so stay tuned for that and again in two days wednesday same stream time as usual we are going to do the live polls for the eminence in shadow collaboration so i hope to see you all there i wish you all good luck if you pull on the banner as well and hope you get all the units that you want of course also good luck if you still are going to pull on the global side either for assists or stuff and yeah just have a nice day have a nice week guys and i hope i see you all in the next one bye